Hello. How's it going? Hi. Yeah, hi, how are you? Hey, how's it going, man? Good, good. Just give me a second. Let me connect to my headset. Yeah, I'm just hanging out on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. There you so go. How's, how's everyone doing? Great. This is up a little bit with uh, the lower interest rate. How's your business? Yeah, yeah. I kind of, uh, I, I'm, I'm right now concentrating on, on uh, getting my insurance company up and going. So I really haven't been focusing on my mortgage company. Insurance is pretty tough right now. With, you know, I myself started my insurance business more than four years ago. And it's pretty slow. It's pretty bad. A lot of uh, here they don't want business. They don't want to work with you. So uh, I wouldn't say that. I've got about twenty-five years of uh, pipeline that I can go to, and uh, you know, all those people know me. So <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I don't know why. Where, where are you from? But California, tough. And Florida, Florida is also very tough, apparently. Yeah, Col yeah, Colorado is actually one of the uh, like top insurance, uh, like people getting insurance, like life insurance, self insurance, home auto, all that stuff. Cool, cool. So yeah, I was a long time ago, I was thinking about mortgage un so unstable, it up and down like this, and that's why I tried to get into insurance business as. But then insurance business is also difficult right now. Many of the carriers cancel, they leave the state, they cancel, they don't want to work with you anymore. So well, California is hard because I mean you guys have constant wildfires. I mean, there's a huge fire going on right now. So nobody wants to insure, you know, because we're you're you guys are like in a danger zone, you know what I mean? So you think see where it's difficult. <laughs> Depends, State right? Farm, State Farm pulled out of California, right? Yes, a lot of a lot of yeah. companies in California. Yeah, and I actually start with the State Farm next week. Forget it. And 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 the reason why I'm doing that is they're going to go ahead and pay and train me to get my commercial and my life and health insurance. I already have my property and casualty. So uh, once I do that, then I'll go independent. So. Okay, so let me start. Uh, thank you, everyone, for spending time and joining in this webinar. I want this webinar to be very informal. We're going to chat a lot. We're going to chat a lot. I want every one of you to ask a lot of questions. Any, any question about mortgage, about loan factory, me, about you, any question you have, ask me. I would love to answer all of your questions. And last week webinar and it last two and a half hours because wow. everyone keep asking a lot of questions so that's why i'm requesting that try to hold up your question uh, to the end if it's not related so wherever i cover you can ask right away but if it's not relevant to what i'm talking then please hold wait to the end okay yeah I don't want this uh, to go two and a half hours. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to try to speed up. But believe me, there will be so much that I want to share with all of you. So and then just raise your hand if you have questions. And I love to answer all of them. So this webinar, I will break it out to three parts. The first part, I will share with you about loan factor. I will share with you uh, the benefit of working with loan factory uh, and then at the end we open up for any type of question okay i will show you about our technology what do you do when you have a loan how do you move it from the way to closing what kind of support do we provide what kind of compensation do we provide everything we're going to share everything with you and you can ask us any question Okay, so uh, I will start. Uh, I will start now by sharing my screen. But before that, I want to make sure everyone understand. A lot of us are not take it seriously. We 
a lot of people just like real estate agent, just thinking about getting the loan license to do part-time job and have fun and that's it. And because they're not serious, that's why they fail. If you're serious, you focus, you work hard, you're gonna be successful. And you're gonna be very successful. I challenge all, I challenge all loan officers. If you work a day and you cannot grow your business, I wanna hear about it. I wanna to talk to you. I wanna know exactly what you do that day today and why you fail to grow your business. So hard work is important, especially when our industry is so complicated. Our industry is so competitive. You need to compete against so many people. So, so you understand my point. If you take it serious, you treat this as a business. And think about when you open a business. All business, they have to do market research. They have to write a business plan. They have to have short-term and long-term goal. And they have to have, write out what they're going to do to accomplish the goal. They need to dedicate what kind of resources, all that. And I think all of us, we don't have that. And that's why we fail it. <clears throat> and I'm going to focus on critical factors that affect in your business. In our business, we, we heard about this a lot. Two things are so important, rate and service, right? You need to have good rate, low rate, and good service. And whoever tell you that rate is not important, forget, I mean, don't listen to them. Rate are so important. Who is that stupid that will willing to go with high rate when they have all the choices, you know, when they get, can get lower rate? <clears throat> Right? Who is that so stupid? The, who's the consumer that's so stupid that willing to pick higher rate? So rate is always important, always. And service is also important too. Uh, just like you, if you get sick, you want to go to a good doctor. You're in the lawsuit, you want to have a rate attorney to help you. Consumer, they need to buy a house. They need to borrow a loan. They, they want to make sure that they can borrow the loan. They, they want to make sure that a good loan officer can help them. So what have you done to make sure you are a good loan officer, that the client will come to you because you are so good? What have you done? I want to ask all of you that, okay? I, I mean, of course, we all, the problem with our industry is we have so many loan officers, just like real estate agents. So many of them, but 80% of them are not good. We all know that 80% of realtor and loan officers are not good. So you want to be the 20%. You want to be there. So what have you done to be there? All right? Study the guideline, learn how to help your client, learn the matrix, learn how to run price and engine, learn how to qualify your client, Learn how to communicate with your clients, to advise them, to, to give them a good solution, good program, give them good rate. Are you fighting hard to shop around and give them a good rate? Or you are lazy and send all your loan to one lender, right? So what can you do to make yourself be a better loan officer, be the top 20%? So... <laughs> Now I'm going to share with you what I've done myself. What I've done myself to make myself become number one loan officer in the country. No one can compete against me in everything. I build a reputation so good that even right now, in the past many uh, this year, I haven't spent time. Uh, I haven't spent time originating but I still close at least 60 loans a month because I have past clients. I have a lot of people know me for many years. They love me, they trust me. They know that if they come to me, I take good care of them. I will not allow my reputation to be affected. So they know that. So they come to me and they know that if anything go wrong, they can call me and I take care of it. 
and that's why they like me. And my rate is on my website, they can go there and check it. And they see that my rate is so good. They can see everything that I do. And they, they don't have to worry. So now I'm gonna show you the detail. Uh, th those are the overall picture so that you understand what's going on. Now I'm gonna go to the detail so you can see, because so far I've been talking and talking and you don't believe it when I talk only. And the same thing with the client. If you talk so nice to them, they may not believe you. So you need to prove it. Everyone has to prove it. If you don't prove it, nobody's gonna listen to you. Nobody's gonna believe you. So I have to prove it to you. And I'm gonna prove it to you now. So uh, let me share with you this screen. So this is our website, the main website, okay? This is for the consumer. In our business, consumer is everyone, everything, right? Consumer, if you win the consumer, you win everything. If this consumer, consumer come to you, you are successful. So how can you persuade the consumer to come to you, to do business with you? So this is my website. It's website I use to persuade my client to, that I'm good. So on, the, on this side, you can see a thousand dollar lowest rate guarantee any offers or i will pay the client a thousand dollar so this is a program the client can click on that to see the detail and it's very simple they just submit it and we will let them know if we can beat it or not they can just submit the loan estimate we will tell them if we can beat it or not if not we tell them to close the loan with that lender and after that give us the cd and we will pay them a thousand dollar and we exclude the jumbo loan will only cover fixed conventional conformant efforts AVA. We exclude the builder, preferred lender, and jumbo loan. So this program is so good because first of all, I can win the trust of my client. They know that I have the best rate. That's why I have this program. Almost all other loan officer and lender out there do not have this program. And not only that, I have the program, but then I also have the pricing engine where the consumer can go here and check the rate. They can check the rate. And uh, our, our pricing engine is very cool. It's consumer facing pricing engine. It's for the consumer. And we have the LLPA waiver. We can find an affordable home ownership program for them. So let's say they say their income is 95,000. We show the borrower that they qualify for the lowest rate um, because there's no adjustment right here. There's no negative prior adjustment. And this is in Texas, uh, Houston. So if their income is 95,000 or less, they qualify for it. And they can, they can see the rate at 6.125 right now with Flagstar. And they can click on the name, lender name to see all other lender ranking. So because we we shop around on every single loan for our client, that's why the clients are so happy. They always get the best way. Unlike some, some, some broker or loan officer out there, choose to work with this lender. <clears throat> European is in there. And they are the favorite of so many loan officers. <laughs> I said I'm approved with them. <laughs> yes. And, Ro and Rocket TPO and PRMG. I mean, I see a lot of those. Yes. And and that's why we're AD mortgage. Yeah. Yeah. See, the rate are so high. The, this is the points. It's the points. You don't give them 1800 points. So Rocket is way better. And this is the reason why I sat with Rocket. I don't sign up with UWM because the rate are so high. So we, we, we shop around for our client. We give them the best way. Nobody can beat us. Because I know that most other broker or loan officer out there, they are not good. They send their loan to their favorite lender, which is UWM. And by comparing this, my rate automatically 1800, 1900 better. And that is for a small loan like this, that is a lot. That is more than 50 basis point. 
I have a quick question. Um, those, so that forward-facing pricing, what is the compensation on that, though? Good question. So, so we we set the compensation to one percent. All right, one percent. So this is for the consumer. If if we give the consumer this rate with this credit, then we get pay one percent. Okay. So yeah, you can. This is what I want you to do. This is what I want you to do. After the webinar tonight, I want you to compare your rate right now with loan factory. I want you to imagine there's a client who's shopping around between you and loan factory, and you, your goal is to beat loan factory. So this is a real, real exercise. Because remember, loan factory, we have over 1,100 loan officers right now. And they are using our pricing. They will compete against you. And I have one. I have one more question. If that's okay. Yes. Yes. Now, I'm I'm a broker currently, and I get a hundred. So we price at two hundred and seventy-five. Do you guys ever? Do you ever like have the issue of people seeing this and then assuming they get one one percent broker comp? Like, if you wanted to make more on a loan. You know what I mean? You wanted to. Yeah. Uh, hold on on that because uh, this is for me. This is my pricing. But every loan officer at Loan Factory, uh, you can you can charge whatever you want up to 250 bit. We will create a website like this for you. Uh, let me share with you another screen. So, so like here, uh, you can have your own website like David. Oh, let me pick another one. Uh, Sam, let me see. Patrick, okay. So every one of you will build a website for you. This is about, about me. But here, the website with the domain name. So every loan officer will have a website and it's free. So we build a website for you with your own domain name on top, with your picture, your information, it has the pricing engine. It has the loan application. So we build everything for you. And the pricing engine, you can customize how much you want to earn. So the, the more you earn, the higher the rate and vice versa. So if, they, so if they go to my site and I have it set at, say, 2%, whatever. Yes, yes. That's all they'll see. Like, they won't see. Yeah, nobody okay. sees. Nobody factory because your website and load factory website are completely separate nobody okay. nobody know nobody compare so you can yeah but if we if we adjust the yield on there um then, yes. then i i don't think that we can we can offer that 1000 guarantee because yeah. if we're gonna adjust the yield on it to where now it's not you know, 6.125 because we put 2% on there. Now it's 6.375. Correct. Correct. Yeah. So, so depend on your strategy, right? Some of the loan officers focus on being low rate, low pricing leader. You focus on rate, then you should not focus on, you should not promote that $1,000 lowest rate guarantee, but you're not focusing on rate. You focus on service. And that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But some loan officer want to focus on rate. I want to have the best rate, and that's perfect. You can use it. So it's up to you. It's optional. You don't have to sign up. So let's say, let's say Patrick, he didn't promote that thousand dollar loan free guarantee, and that's why on, on his website you don't see it. Mm. But if you want, you can just say, I want to promote it, and then it will show up on your website, and you promote it. So uh, the website that we build for you, you can customize it. You can say, I want this program. I want that. I want to, I want to show the lender name or not. I want to show my compensation. I want to capture the, 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 <clears throat> the information before they can see the rate. You can do so many things to um, we customize. Yeah, yeah. sorry. Um, uh, sorry. Uh, this is my second time to be on this web webinar. Yes. So for the first time, I, I joined like five minutes, 10 minutes late. You mentioned that 
the rocket ray, the rocket long the ray is lower than the the website themselves, right? You, can, can you repeat that and say it again? Like, yeah, yeah. I spoke okay, myself. You, you say your rocket long ray is even lower than the the engine themselves, right? I I, I didn't see. So, I didn't understand so, more. Okay, so <clears throat> rocket mortgage. They have wholesale and retail. Rocket retail, they work directly with the consumer. And we are working with their wholesale. So our, uh, our rate, our wholesale rate is better than their retail rate. That's the first thing. Okay. So that's why we don't have to worry in client to their retail operation. We are wholesale, we have better rate. We don't have to worry. Secondly, loan factory has better rate because Rocket Mortgage is one of our major lender. Compared to many other brokers out there, they work with UWM. And if you compare the difference, it's $700. And that is on a $286,000. So that is like more than 30 bit different. So that's why we have an advantage. Everyone knows that Loan Factory has good rate because we pick the lender, uh, we work with a good lender that give us better rate. And not only that, if you check it here, you can see that Rocket give a 10 basis point special. Uh, so a custom adjustment for Loan Factory, a 10 basis point. So. Rocket give us, give Loan Factory 10 basis point extra. So that is why our rate is so low. So, so you have a, a list of all the lenders and what, what is the repay from the, from the lender. Or, so that means that the, the price is even better than the wholesale rate, about 10 points. Is that right? Correct. We better than auto broker by 10 basis point. I mean, some of you, if you are a broker, you work with Rocket, you can short compare and you will see it. You can compare. You know, for Loan Factory, we make everything open. We let everyone see everything. We, we try to be transparent. We don't hide anything. Here's our pricing. Anyone can see it. You want to see the breakdown, you click on it. You can see everything, the base price. You can see all the adjustment. You can see everything. You can see our compensation. I don't hide anything. Yeah, this way okay. so, you can yeah. compare. Yeah, it seems uh, uh, you know I probably need to go. But very quick question is that uh, I have a I'm a like Californian uh, uh, loan officer. I have a loan in Nevada. So how soon you can sign me up to to have that submission of the Nevada loan? And do do I need to do I need to uh, have the license or can can I use your platform by the name of you to do the loan? the first time and then sign up later okay so basically let's say you have Cali, you have a license in california but you don't have license in nevada so this is what you can do you can uh, there's many choices right the first choice is you can you can keep the same company if you own a business keep your business keep your broker but then you can get a license in Nevada and put that Nevada license under loan factory. That will allow you to do loan in Nevada. Okay. So the good thing is flexibility. You don't have to leave your current company. You don't have to, to close your broker if you are the broker, brokerage if you, you are a broker. You can work with loan factory in additional state that you don't have license in. And normally that process takes about one to two weeks. While getting that license, you can submit the loan under my name. I will be your loan op I will be the loan officer of that loan. And if you can quickly get your license activated and that's sponsored by Loan Factory, I will transfer the loan back to your name. So that way you can earn the commission, you don't lose. You can try out Loan Factory. And because remember, it costs you nothing to join Loan Factory. I will go into the details soon. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't want to talk. We we, we talk uh, later in privately about the details how to to work this loan out. Thank you. Sure.
Yeah. Thuan, I had a question for you. I'm Steve. Nice to meet yes. you. Thank you for the opportunity. Yeah. Okay. So if you if if someone's a loan officer for loaner factory and they want the lowest rate, as an LO, what is their minimum comp? There's no minimum comp. Uh, I will go, go into that later. Okay, okay not thank a problem. You. Thank, yes. you, thank you. Okay, right. let me continue. Because I know that it's going to be an hour and a half to two hours because that will be a lot to cover. It will be a lot to cover. So this is the pricing engine. It's super cool. If, if I want to imagine I talk to my client, right? I, I, I can share this with my client by copy the link down here. I can share the link. I can share the link on the on social media about my website. I can compare two different lender, you know, or I can compare different options like 6.125 and 5.875. And then I can even compare with 15 year fix. So I can compare three options right here. 30 year, 30 year, and 15 years. 6.125, 5.875. So I show them the points and the saving, you know, 15 years, this is how much you say, $223,000 on this $283,000 loan amount. So I show them different options. And then when I, before I mentioned, I, I walk them through the number, I share with them. I ask them for email. And that's why I send them the, the, the screen and then we go over number together. And then I can capture the information so that I can follow up with them. This is a lead. So um, there's so many things you can do. You can input the uh, current loan in here to see should they refinance or not. So it, it's a very powerful website and very easy to use. The consumer, when they see the rate, they can apply or they can see if they qualify or not. They can check, they can see the fee. They can see the fee here, or they can create a rate tracking. So let's say they say, oh, I want 5%. This is not what I want. So they can create a rate tracking uh, with the target rate of uh, 5, 5.25 here, 5%, and with no point, no, no point. You can create a rate alert, and it will monitor for you. So this is consumer facing. If, if we, uh, I will show you on now, when you log in admin, you can do a lot more. So let's see, we have a few questions. Can I ask? Yes, please. Yeah, basically I am a loan officer working for a broker. I don't have a broker license. And uh, my, basically I do real estate also with the same broker. And I always, because the way I work is when I'm doing a real estate deal, I generally don't do as a loan officer because there will be a conflict of interest with the same client. But generally what happens, my broker does the loan in the same thing. But uh, since it's uh, uh, because I cannot be a loan officer with loan factory because I'm already associated with the broker as a realtor. So is it possible for me or is my broker needs to sign with Loan Factory for the loan? I think your broker is fooling you. You, you should not work with your broker. You have two licenses, real estate and mortgage. Yes. Right. So you should put your real estate license under your real estate broker and your loan license under Loan Factory. That way you can earn commission on both sides of the same transaction. But the reason why I'm, I want to be part with the broker is, can my broker work with Loan Factory and I still work with my broker because of the relationship we have? You can keep the same relationship with real estate, in terms of real estate. But mortgage, I don't think your broker want to work under Loan Factory. So you should talk to your broker. Or I can talk to you later after the, the webinar. Yeah. Got it. Sure. Thank you. Yeah. I have a question. I have a question. Yes. So I'm the real estate broker, but my 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 loan license is under different broker. Is that possible? I can work for loan factory while keep my the other real the other license loan license. 
Yes, yes, a hundred percent. Especially uh, California broker. Yeah, yeah, I talked to the MLS. They said I can put two yeah, company yeah. on it. Yes, yes, hundred percent correct. You okay, good. so I've yeah, I like that. Okay, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let me move on because I want to leave all of this to the end. I'm sorry. Let me let me finish uh, the presentation. I'm sorry because there's a lot that I have to cover. So um, here you can see we have uh, over 1,100 loan officers and our loan officer, you can check out these loan officers, you can give them a call to ask them about their experience at Loan Factory. You can see how much they like Loan Factory. And let me share with you, um, so for example, here you can see that we promote loan officer when the consumer, they run the pricing, they see loan officer here. So a lot of our clients click on this and, and choose, choose to work with you. So we have thousands of clients come to our website every day and they see you in here, they, they see your review, they like it, they will want to work with you. So at Loan Factory, we want you to become a better loan officer so that we can promote you. And Google review is something that we want to promote you. And because of that, let me share with you this information. Okay, here, I want to share with you the benefit when you work with Loan Factory first. And then I will share with you the technology that we are using. And then at the end, I will open up for more questions. Uh, so we build our own platform also. So we don't use any other software out there. We build our LOS, POS, pricing engine, CRM, marketing. We build everything ourselves. Uh, and that is our own proprietary technology. When you work with Loan Factory, you will receive training from me. We have uh, four training funds, and I will provide two training. And I also have, we also have weekly sell call where I provide advice and help as well. Free marketing support. We have a marketing team of more than 10 people who can help you with marketing. If you need help with creating a customized image, edit a video, or run a Facebook or Google ads, they can help you for free. Uh, we can even post for you for free. We give you the marketing material for free so that you can post it. Um, we have we have underwriting team. We have five underwriter where they can help you with many things. Let's say you have a loans with five properties with two or three self employment income. They can help you review, calculate DTI, and advise you. So they will help you for free. If you need to fight against the lender, they will jump on and fight because they know the guideline. They will fight for you, and it's free. And this is very nowadays. Non QM loan has become very popular. And at Loan Factory, the underwriting team is super good. They know so much about non QM loan. So if you have any scenario, non QM scenario, you can ask them. They will advise you which loan program is best, which lender and what is the rate that you uh, you can provide to you so marketing i mean uh, underwriting support is really good that way you you won't lose any loan you can do any loans at loan factory we work with over 180 lenders so we cover all type of loans when uh, uh land charter home loan commercial hard money construction loan all type of loans we do all type of loans we don't say no to any loans and the best thing is you pay nothing uh, monthly no monthly fee no desk fee no junk fee no technology fee no nothing so if you join and let's say you don't close any loan for five months six months you don't pay any money that's it you don't pay anything and uh, you, we don't require minimum production 
uh, many broker require you to pay them every month 150 bucks 200 bucks and they cost you everything they force you to pay for technology they force you to pay for this and that so at loan factory everything free okay and you receive ton of support and you get the best pricing everything is good to make you become the best loan officer <clears throat> so you pay you you will get paid 100 percent commission whatever the lender pay us we pay you but we minus a flat fee of 595 and 500 in-house processing fee so those are pretty cheap those are the cheapest um, out there if you you can i challenge you to compare uh, any broker out there to see if they charge less than us do we have to use your processing yes yes we have to uh, one thing that is a very common question because i see that a lot of loan officers try to process your own loan that is good i've done it for 25 years so <laughs> yeah it's good that you can process your own loan but it's better to utilize your time to network, to do marketing, to bring in clients. And uh, initially, a lot of loan officers doesn't agree, didn't agree with me. But later on, they thanked me because I pushed them that way. I pushed them so that they spend more time networking, you know, doing a lot of activities online, social media, so that they can bring a lot more business. And I charge very low, 500 per loan. That's a super low. I have well, not I'm, just looking, I'm just looking at it. I, you know, produce about 20 loans a month. So that's like $10,000, you know, dollars that I'm just giving. Oh, think about this. The time that you spend to process 20 loans a month, that yeah. is probably it's not, Yeah, the processing isn't that hard. <laughs> it's about time. It's if, you spend, if you spend those time with marketing, you can bring a lot more business. Yeah. a lot more business and that is exactly my model I've, I've been there done that I mean I, I, I my own production from 2 to 3 to 5 to 10 to 20 to 30 to 50 to 100 I keep scaling because I know how to, I know how to leverage I ask other to help me so that I can focus on marketing <laughs> that's the best thing that I can do you too if you can focus on marketing you can bring a lot more business and you let the processor take care of it for you. Specialization. Why would you want to do everything yourself? You I know? have a question. I have a question. I'm the I'm uh, the loan post I'm also doing the loan processing for my loan too. But only reason why I like to do it because I can stay on the top of my deal. Sometimes the condition come in have to be really fast, have to be quick. The interest rate gonna expire. Yeah. But I use the in-house processor, they not they not keep it, not put my loan on the top. Sometimes yes, I lose those yes. are the deal because the loan processor. Yes. You know. I I am a hundred percent agree with you. I myself just like you. I'm you know, when my pro and a lot of top loan officers at loan factory, they are like you. Because we we want to keep things go moving, right? We want yeah. to grow loan fast, we want our client happy, we want everything perfect. And, and the processor, you know, they are slow. They yeah. are slow, and, and we don't have the patience. That, and that's why we keep jumping in and, and do things for them. So I told my top loan officer, do not jump in. Give, leave, let, give them a chance. So can we, can we see your, uh, can we see your CRM? Yes. So I mean, we, we, we keep asking questions and I want to, yeah. I want to, I want to see your Product. Yes. I don't want to. Yes. Yes. That's what I said later on. Listening to question. Yeah. So, so basically, just to let you know that everything have turned time. We, even you, right? Your client call you up and say, "Hey, I want you to do this." You will say, "I'm sorry, there are ten other, thirty other clients in front of you. I have to take care of that first. So, same thing with processor. They have turned time. They can for they have to prioritize things. So we have a turn time, four hours to disclose, to issue disclosure, and four hours to submit the loans, and 24 hours to, to, to take care of the condition. So we have turn time, so don't, you don't have to worry. 
let me continue. I'm sorry, and I will show that later. Uh, commission, you can get paid 1099 or W2. Almost all loan officers want to get paid in 1099. However, there are 14 states that we have to pay in W2. Uh, so if you don't want to get paid in W2, you can avoid those states. And I will show you the list of the state later on. Uh, you can get paid up to 250 BIP. So we set lender pay compensation at 250. So if you, when you submit a loan, you have a choice. You, you want to go with lender pay or borrow pay. If you select lender pay, then the 250 BIP, that's it. But if you want to charge less, you need to compete against your other against other competitor then almost everyone switch to borrow pay and charge less than 250 bit and this is about a thousand dollar loss rate guarantee most loan officer if they want to be competitive you have to charge let's say 150 bit or less you have to charge less so that the client get better rate the higher the rate the higher the commission that you charge the higher the rate the client will get. So if you want to stay competitive, you need to lower your commission. So we allow you to switch to borrow pay and lower your compensation so that your rate can get better and better. Okay. And in 42 state, we offer company leads. So the, a lot of uh, clients, they go to our website, they like they like what they see, they fill out the application. So in 42 state, we will assign those application. It's not lead, it's an actual application that borrow go to our website and fill out the application. So we'll give this lead, this company loan to our loan officers. We pay only 25 bit, but you don't pay for anything. We have processor take care of everything for you and the client will belong to you so that you can work with that client for future refinance so the client is yours so the loan is under your name not me not the company so a lot of people love this uh, company lead company loan and as a loan officer at loan factory you can get a referral bonus up to five thousand dollar <coughs> okay so there's a lot of information under resource loan officer. I recommend you to read it. Tons of information, a lot. We are adding more information, but uh, you can check it out. Well, we don't have time to go over everything. So um, the question is why loan factory? We, when you join this webinar, you have that question. And I think all of the client, when they, when they come to you, when they talk to you, they have the same question. Why you? Why Kevin? Why Richard? Why Michelle? You know, why they have to select you as the, their loan officer? And the answer is pretty simple. You have the best rate, you have excellent customer service, and you have the best technology. Technology will help you too. Technology will make sure that you, have, you provide excellent customer service. Technology will make sure that you have the best rate because you have the pricing engine right there. So I proved to you that we have the best rate already. Now you can see that we have excellent customer service. We have almost 7,500 five-star review. This is Google review. This, this is a Google review, not Zillow or any other. So, it's a real review from our clients, and we get a perfect review, perfect score. No other company out there have this kind of record. And imagine you join Loan Factory. You will have all three of this. It's almost guaranteed that when you join Loan Factory, you will have five-star review, and you will have a lot of five-star review. Every of your client will give you five-star review. We know how to do this. We make sure. Because I, I did it myself. 
And when you join Loan Factory, you will do the same thing as I do. You use the same technology. You, see, you will use the same processor, same process, same method. Everything that I do, I share with you. And therefore, you will have a lot of clients that will give you five-star review. And you will provide that review to your future clients, your prospects. And I will show with you, I will show you our technology later on. So here's our record, the number of lender, the number of five-star review, the number of loan officer, number of state. One more thing about our rocket mortgage, they give us the tier one, so we don't have to pay EPO. I'm pretty sure that right now, a lot of loan officer and, and broker are scared of EPO. Look, wait for rate drop a little bit more. A lot of people will refinance and you will get hit with EPO. But if you work with Loan Factory, you send loan to Rocket Mortgage, then there's no EPO. And in case that you work with other lender and you get hit with EPO, we will use our power to negotiate with them for them to lower the EPO amount. We will try to help you. They give us 15 days of free extension, no extension fee. They give us free credit report. We can upload to their website with full credit, it's free. They do credit upgrade. So sometimes the borrower have credit score of 690. And you know that you can increase the score for them by paying off some mortgage, some, some credit, some debt. So they will help us. It, help the client improve the, improve the score so that the client will get better rate. And it's free. We can submit the loan and then request them to help increase the score so that two weeks later, the score jump, the client get better rate. So it's perfect. It's, it's a very good lender. That's why we work with them. So this is how to become a, a, a loan officer, compensation. So 1099 will pay 100% minus these two fees. W2, you get paid only 90% instead of 100%. And in these 13 states, the 13 state here, you have to get paid in W2. So 1099, you get paid 100%. W2, you get paid 90%. Okay? So I have a quick question on that. Yes. So... I, I'm in a state where it's W-2 only, um, so we would get 90%. You guys would still cover the employer share of payroll taxes? Yeah, sure. it, uh, I know, I know. We get, we get charge a flat fee like that, 10%, extra. Okay, so you, you pay like Social Security, Medicare, the, the employer share. That's why you're doing 90%, right? Yeah, for the employer, not for the employee. Right, right. We pay our own, but you guys pay your share of the... Exactly. Of the, exactly. Okay. Okay. Exactly. Gotcha. Yeah, right. yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, so let me start showing you the website that we have. Okay, but before that, I want to share with you... Okay, let's say this website. The clients see this website, right? They run the pricing, right? They see the rate. Let's say they apply. They click on this, they apply. Then this is our application. The client will say, I want to buy a home. I want pre-approval. Then they will enter their email address. They enter their name. So we create an account for them. So, to, so that they can come back anytime to finish it. Let's say they, they cannot finish it. We have, they can finish the application, but application will continue to fill it out manually. Or they can use our AI assisted application. They can click on it, and here we will allow them to download, to upload the driver license, tax return, pay stub, debut to bank statement, basically anything. They can drag it here, and then I'll, I don't have the document here with me. But after you upload it, the AI will read this document, 
capture the data and fill out the application for you. And the client can use it, you can use it. But I will do it manually for now. Uh, I will do it manually. I will do it really quick. It should be one minute. Hey, quick question. If yes. you're doing a pre-approval, do you guys do a soft pull or a hard pull on the credit? And do we have to lay out the money for that? Yes. So it's up to you. You are the loan officer. You decide whether you want to soft pull or hard pull them. Okay. Uh, normally, in the past, I do a soft pull. But right. now, the cost of the soft pull has been increased a lot. So I tend to do either way. So you, you can pick wherever you feel comfortable. Uh, and how much is the swap pool? Yeah, swap pool is fine. Uh, one one euro, twelve dollars. You can pay for it. So we create an account for you. You can do okay. whatever you want. We do whatever you want, and and um, you can you can also submit it to some lender that do TPD approval. That way, they can you can pull credit with Rocket for free, and they will do TBD approval for you. And I recommend that because free free credit report, they underwrite a loan for you for free. Why not, right? right. Mm -hmm. So, so at our loan at Loan Factory, we also um, we also help you. <clears throat> we help you. Uh, Put your client name in the do not call and uh, do not contact list. So that way, you don't have to. Your the the other loan officer out there won't won't call your trigger your client. But if, if we don't use Rocket or other lenders that that do it for free, we pay for soft and hard pulls until we collect. Correct. Correct. You have to pay for it upfront and at closing. We will submit the receipt, the invoice, and we get the reimbursement. <coughs> yeah. But well, we can use the uh, borrower's credit card to pay that up front? Yes. We, uh, the website that we built for you, you can go in and decide if you want to the borrower to pay for it or not. So the borrower, when they fill our application, uh, when they reach when they reach the liability page, they can pay for it. Hmm. Yeah, our system, our technology is the best. Our technology is the best. We are we are. You can you can see it pretty soon. Uh, can we help the borrower to fill up the application? Because some borrower they don't know how, uh, can't understand how to fill up. Go to yeah. all. Yeah, you can fill out for them. Okay. Yeah, you, it's the same thing. You can fill out for them. Okay. Yeah. So, so here liability here, we they authorize it by clicking here. We make everything really simple. So, uh, they authorize it by click here. And then we tell them that oh, people might call you. So you need to opt out or cut it off. Or click here, or put your net number. Call. And then we can also handle that for the client. You know? So right here, they can say yes, and then we will handle for them. And you know, I close 60 loans a month. I have hundreds of, uh, I have like over 200 applications, and none of my clients ever call me and say, Tuan, why someone call me? Um, they, they blame me. Never, no one ever call me. I take care of that problem. So when you join Loan Factory, we take care of that for you as well. So this is the application. So it doesn't get. So in other words, it, the loan doesn't get triggered when the credit gets pulled, like typically, right? So Correct. that's what you're saying. Then all these brokers calling up and say, "Oh, I could beat your rate," and you're like, "Ah, oh, crap." Correct. Correct. I'm correct. Oh. I, I, you know, I, I'm the type of person when I run into a problem, I have to solve it. I don't allow other loan officer to call my client. Right. I lose client. The client got mad at me. And that's just bad. But the loan you know, officer is come from other company. It's not come from loan factory. How can you stop it? 
because I put my client number in the do not call list, do not offer, do not call. So that, that way no one ever call my clients. From other company? Yes. Okay. Yeah. With your processing system, is it possible just to remove the phone number and the email address uh, prior to pulling and then adding it back oh. in later so that no. they can't no. save as a trigger? No, it won't help because the, the, the phone number, Credit Bureau has every information of the client. They have everything. So when you pull the credit report, they look up the social security number and they have, they are right there, they have the, number, the phone number, email, they have everything and they sell it. Yeah, the only thing that you can't avoid is if that, if that particular client went to multiple websites and put their information in. I mean, that's it. Yeah, yeah. that's how I prevent it from happening. No one will call my clients. But what happened is, like you say, you we, we submit the peer proof by the walket, okay? But the walket want the credit report, and then the once it won, the other agent from other company will call. No, no one will call. Okay. Because, because we prepare, we put there the borrow information in the do not call <laughs> offer, and that's it. Stop everything. <laughs> okay. Makes sense. <laughs> I have yeah. a question. I'm a broker in California and I have other LOs. So if I came on board to Rocket because you guys are in states where I'm not licensed yet, uh, and I want to expand. How does that work with me having loan officers under me? Uh, yeah, it's a little tricky on your on that situation. You you can keep you should keep your own company. Nothing, but then you can work with Loan Factory. You yourself, as a broker, you can work with Loan Factory as well. And you can work with Loan Factory in other states. Um, yeah, I can talk to you later on. Yeah, I, I don't want to, but it's not applicable to everyone here. Yeah, yeah hey, Juan, I, I appreciate you, man, but I've got a, a three o'clock appointment. I'll, uh, sure, I'll, I'll, rejoin, I'll rejoin another conference, okay? Sure, sure. thank you, right. Daniel. Thank Take you. it easy, everyone. See you. Thank you. Thank you. So yeah, it's it's an hour gone by, and we're still not halfway done yet. But let me move on to show you the system. Okay. So here is our. Oh, you see my screen or not? I'm sorry, not yet. No, just your face. Not yet. Yep. Okay. Here is our uh, website. When you log in, you see the screen, right? Right. Yeah. So you can see you yeah. can see the dashboard where we have all the statistics, the number of loan, number of prospect. We see the ranking of loan officer. I have 133 active loans. And all the loan officers have active loan. The branch, the loan officer system, the state. So uh, the dashboard we have tons of information. But the pricing engine here, we have QM pricing engine and non-QM pricing engine. Uh, you can run a non-QM pricing engine and check the result here. And you can see the lender. Uh, let's go back to QM pricing engine. You can expand it. You can see, you can set your compensation here, 1%. You can change it to any level, 1.2. And you can price it again. You can see the difference. Mm. Um, so that is the pricing engine. We have uh, three pipelines. At Loan Factory, we have three pipelines. Leads, prospect, and loans. So every one of you should have three pipelines. You work on leads, and then when they, the lead is, uh, the lead want to apply, here's the lead page. So I have to move on because the regulator doesn't want me to show the client name, production client name. So that's why I cannot show it to you. But here we have a marketplace here. This is really cool. A marketplace, you can see that we have 201 lenders. We're working with them. And right now there are five lenders that lie. Lies mean they are ready, waiting for you to meet them. So if you click on it, you can see, you can click here and talk to them. You can join and you can join a webinar to talk to them. Uh, you join them face to face. 
to ask a question. So we have five lender live to help you. And this is good. You can look up any lender here. You can select any products here. Let's say you, if you're curious, you want to know who, which lender offer a private loan. You have 63 lender offer a private loan. If you want to know who offer commercial loans, then all of them are here. And you can click on it to talk to the AE or the lender. <coughs> uh, you can select reverse mortgage, land. There's eight lenders that offer lands, loan, land, land, loan for land. And you can narrow down to a lot of different programs, bridge loan, construction loan, DPA loan, uh, so many different, different type of loan. You can locate it. So that way you will never say no to any clients, any realtors. When they call you, you, you say, I can do it. You know, right now I know a lot of pro small broker and loan officer, they cannot do all type of loans. So at Loan Factory, we can do any type of loans. You can go to Loan Factory here. We have a schedule here. So the, we have a live support here from our support team. So as the loan officer, if you have any question, with auto broker, you have no choice. You no one help you. Here, if you have question, you can go here and, and meet this person live and ask question. Not only that, we have 25 departments. LO support, underwriting, processor assist, disclosure desk, marketing, uh, LO complaint and feedback, IT support, licensing, credit upgrades. We have 25 departments to help you. And uh, let me show you more. We have a team. So we have a team here. You can create a new team yourself, or you can join a team. A team, you work together. You split the commission with the team leader, or you can uh, you can join a mentor, and you split the commission with a mentor. Okay. So let's say if you're brand new, we offer to pay you eighty percent for the first three transactions. However, if you join a team or a mentorship, we pay you a hundred percent. That way you have money to pay your mentor or the team leader, okay? But this is also a very cool feature, lender finders. So if you have any scenario, like here, hot money for lender for fix and flip, you write here, then the lender will respond to you. So when you write a scenario, people will respond to you and help you and find them. If they can help you, they are lender. You can post a lender inquiry, and then you can decide to send it out to 20 lender. All of these lender will get it. So if you switch to private loan, then the lender will change accordingly. So the marketplace is super cool. It's free, easy to use. We have tons of events. You see that we have event almost every day. All of these are upcoming event. All of this. Monday alone we have two, and then we have a lot of event. And then the completed event is here, and you can watch it too. You can watch some event here. So we have a lot of feature to help you. Announcement vendor. Now let me show you some of the menu that we have. Marketing materials. We created marketing material for you. Uh, it can be any category, loan factory, realtor, uh, loan officer. Uh, you can do, you can promote a loan program, rate and chart, holiday. You can generate holiday image. You can generate your own review. Let's say you get a five-star review, you click on it and it generates an image for you to promote. It customizes your picture, your information. You want to promote a fast, a fast clear loan, you can generate it. You can 
promote a lot more thing. Okay. Refer a realtor. You can prom you can refer a realtor and earn a commission up to five thousand dollars. Commission request when you when the loan is closed, you just go here and request commission, and that's it. The system will automatically detect uh, the loan that you close and created a request for you and we pay for it. So it's really simple. It's really simple. Uh, if you need help with for any of these departments, you can get create a ticket and they will help you. Accounting, underwriting, process assist, IT, compliance, setup, training, licensing, HR, any any of these departments, get create a ticket and they will help you a few more minutes. We have mailing list. So you can create a lot of mailing list. So like this one, we I, I sponsor a Spanish event in Miami last year, and it has almost a thousand Spanish realtors. So I use it to promote it to them. So if you see here, uh, yeah, I, say, I, I'm, I plan to send them an email, all of them. So you can view the list. To, to to target them, and the list can be the mailing list can be dynamic. That means it's from your current loan, and you can see like that. I want all buyer that close loan with me, fund loan with me. You know, you can do a lot of filter, and it automatically create the the list for you. And you can you can email them. You can. You can email all of them. So that training, we have an academy where you can learn. And it's free. It's it's our training academy. You can learn about loan life cycle, best practice training with Rocket Pro, uh, mortgage insurance processor training. We have a lot of training for you. Recruiting, uh, recruiting, compensation, marketing. So marketing here. We have a lot. We have marketing material, learning center, and press release. You can create press release or learning center and promote it. Um, here you can fund all, and it's it, you can promote the One Plus program, the Heat Lock program, the Vietnamese language, like this one, uh, or Spanish language, uh, for example. Let's do Spanish, one plus Spanish, right? So I can go to, here's the lead funnel. Here's the lead funnel for one plus. Oh, I log in right here. So as, as the loan officer, if you don't know how, if you don't know about lead funnel, you're missing out a lot. You need to, uh, you need to learn. So the lead funnel is the Spanish here, and it's the one plus program where the borrower down one percent, they get back two percent credit, free money from the lender. You know, it's it's the lead funnel. We run ads, we capture lead. That's it. Uh, we have the more Google My Business account. We have a lot of loan officers requesting this account. So our marketing team is helping our loan officer with this so that the loan officer can request, can uh, have Google My Business account and ask him for review. So uh, I can show you, let me show you the how you move the loan from A to Z. So here I have to move away from the production server and I show you here's the lead, the lead page right this is a prospect page so that when the borrower fill out the application i know that they are 42 percent complete 57 percent complete so the borrower fill out the application but they might get stuck or they might stop in the middle so we need to go in and know they stop right here and say they stop it and that's why there's nothing here so you can review it, and then you call the borrower and help them finish the application. And when they finish the application, 
you can convert it to the loan. And when you convert it to a loan, you will assign the processor. So every loan officer, we assign you a loan processor to work with so that you get used to the processor. The processor and you will work to group together closely to help your client. And for some reason you don't like your processor, you can request so that we can assign you a new processor. Uh, we have processors that speak many different languages. So we can accommodate them. And going back to the uh, going back to earlier concern that you want to process your own loan, right? But and I know that some of you are very good at processing, no doubt. However, here's your weakness. You only know how to submit loan to one or two lenders, not many. I'm pretty sure. Because in order to know how to submit to many different lenders, you have to be an expert. You require a lot of time and effort. And most of you, you are a loan officer, you're busy taking care of the client. You don't have time to deal with the lender, to deal with documents. To submit law. It's extremely difficult to deal with the lender, with their system, their process, their procedure, their underwriter, everything. So, so let me wrap it up. It's almost done. Uh, let me quickly wrap it up. Can I one question? Yes. If we using, if I using your processor, can I still see the condition? Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm gonna show you. Okay. So, so when the loan is ready to go, uh, let me try that right now so you see it. <clears throat> so let's say I pick a loan that, uh, let me try to find an system. This is not a real server, real data. So let's say here, this client, 100% complete. So I can convert as the loan officer, when first you need to make sure that the, your client finished the application and upload all the documents right so if you see that they are 99 percent or 16 percent complete you need to click here and call them this is an, a fake number fake data okay but you can you can call your client and assist them so that they can move from 16 percent to 100 percent and ask them to upload all the documents so that is your job to help them. And when they're ready, the loan is ready to be submitted, you will go in and here, this is what you can do. You can view in MISMO 3.4, you can assign owner, you can ask lender, clone it, convert it from, uh, you can change the prospect type, you can export or import from MISMO 3.4, you can invite borrower to edit it. You can uh, email all participants. You can check all the email conversation. So this is critical. You can, you, we capture everything. All of the text messages, phone call, or email, we capture it. Now, so that, hi, yes. uh, quick question. I don't want to interrupt you, but um, do we need to have other software like Encompass or anything like that? Or um, no. from what I see, it doesn't look like it, but I just wanted to ask. No, we provide everything for free. Okay. You don't have to pay. You don't have to use any other software. Perfect. And that makes your job, your life easier. That's because we exactly make it, what I'm looking for. We make, it, <laughs> we make sure it's so easy that you don't need to learn. And, it, and we provide training and we have IT, we have support. If you have a question, you go there and they help you. Okay. So it's so easy. It's so easy. Okay. And one software that you deal with, this software, that's it. You don't okay. need to many different software. Yeah, yeah, no, that's good. Perfect, yeah. thank you. Yeah. And can I, can I pin out the 10 fee and then give to the borrower to fill up and then again, help them to, yeah. to uh, yeah. because some borrower, they don't know, we don't know is the computer illiterate. Yeah. Yeah, I know. That's why you can fill out for them. Okay. That's no problem. You can fill out for them. You can go here, you say add here, and then you input a new prospect. Or you can invite borrower to fill out. 
we 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 are very high tech. We, our our technology is the best. So you can go to action here. You can see, uh, you can review all conversation. So all email history, all text message history, ring central message history, call log. We capture everything, even the phone call. We click on it to listen to the conversation. We capture everything here. So as the loan officer, you know this. These are to do. You click on this, you see the to do, and this to do aside to borrower. There are two to do aside to the loan owner, which is loan officer or processor, and then the closing agent have two to do. So every loan, you know the progress, you know to do, and you can click on the note here to to see the conversation, the real conversation every day. So you always on top of your loan. You always know exactly what's going on. So, uh, so after you review the application, it's ready to go, ready to be submitted to the lender. One thing you need to do is you need to click on rate tracking to find out a rate and find out a lender. And then after you know the rate, you know the lender that you want to submit to, then you go in here and convert it into a loan, convert to loan. And when you convert to loan, you will you will review it okay at the last time refinance this is the actual you want to send to wholesale not correspondent up to you though we have correspondent as well uh, you can send to here you select the lender uh, you pick a compensation I want borrow pay I want 1.4 you know you do whatever you want. This is just a test server. That's why it's messy. The number, the data is messy. Um, One more question. I don't want to interrupt. But the lender pay, lend, just uh, lender pay. So can I go? You say default is a two point five. Yes. But can I lower to the maybe two percent? No. See when you when when you select lender pay, mm -hmm. you cannot add it. That's it. Two and a half. Okay. For California, two hundred. But if you select borrow pay, then you can edit it. Our software is really cool. It makes your job easier. We we automate it so that we don't we do, you don't make mistake. The client don't make mistake. Processor don't make mistake. And that's why we can close so many loans and all of our clients are happy. We can, we control everything. We don't allow you to edit lender pay. You know, if you choose lab borrow pay, you can edit it. And if you enter more than Lender pay, they will say, no, you cannot. So, I have, so the, yeah, I have a quick question, and maybe we can discuss this offline. Also, if uh, it takes away time, I have a client who has seven properties with multiple lenders, and he's looking for a non QM loan so that he can consolidate all of them where there is a e lot of equity on that, and he wants to deal with only one lender. Yeah. So, your case is a little tricky because. Uh, Normally, nobody want to consolidate like that. I know that when he consolidate, he had a peace of mind. He deal with one lender only, but then his rate would be higher on all of the uh, the properties. So that is, that is okay with it. Really? Wow. So that's easy. It's easy, right? If he okay with high rate, there's tons of lender out there willing to help him. But yeah, if, I were, if I were, if I were, the reason. Yeah. Go ahead. The reason why he wants to consolidate is he has a flourishing business and he wants to leverage the equity of that particular loan and invest in future businesses. Yes. Yeah. So in your case, I would help him, but I would help him with the conventional lender, QM lender to help him with to get lower rate. Only if he don't call, if he doesn't qualify, then we will go with the non QM lender. So can I share that scenario with you offline? because that's yeah, all yeah yeah you can email me we can help you for sure yeah 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 thank you and now underwriter can help you too and that's why this is a array example because as the loan officer you will run into challenging situation like this all the times and imagine you you say i'm sorry i don't know how to help you lose out a, a client you lose you lose a lot of money and your business will struggle because that client will go away. 
they will never come back to you because they know that you cannot help them. And so imagine now you become a different loan officer. You can help any clients, any realtor, close any loans. Then they will love you and keep coming back to you and refer more clients to you. So at Loan Factory, we can make it happen. Let me wrap it up. It's getting so late right now and I feel bad. So when you convert to a loan, you can enter the fee to get it back, the borrower to pay you back. You can write a loan story for the processor to understand. Uh, you can select the escrow company. You can select the, the owner, like the processor to help you. Uh, and that's it. When you convert, the processor will get notified or will jump in to submit the loan within four hours. Your loan will be approved within one day. And when the loan is approved, the processor will call you and say, hey, Kevin, your loan is approved. Let's go over the condition together. So the processor will walk with you. They will, he will go over the condition with you and, and make sure that both you and the processor are on the same page. We make sure that we know how to clear it. And that's how you learn and they learn. And we will communicate, we work with the borrower. And anything happened in the loan, they will write a note here every day. They will write a note here every day. And they can update the to-do every day for you. So you always know exactly what's going on. You know the status. And you know what's next. You know, this is done, then what this is next. The ball has to eat time. We, we list out the, the step. So you know what happened next. So it's very, and then the rate alert. When you convert to a loan, I call my client and say, hey, uh, I review your application. It's completed, it's ready to go. I see that you might qualify. I don't see any problem. So I'm gonna send your loan to the lender now. Within 24 hours, the lender will approve our loan and they will give us the list of conditions that they want from us. So at that point, my processor will reach out to you to ask you for more documents. So please send the document back ASAP if you want to close loan sooner. And you can work with my processor to clear out all of the condition. And if any in any situation that you don't understand your the processor, or if you have any question for me, feel free to call me. You, you can work with my processor, but if needed, you can always call me. Meanwhile, I create a rate alert for you. The rate alert will keep track of the rate for you every day. The interest rate go up and down every day. However, I already create a rate alert for you. The rate alert will email you rate, the new rate every day, every morning. So check your email every morning. If you like the rate, call me, I will lock it for you. If you don't like the rate, you keep waiting. So that is what I told my client so that they will appreciate me. I explained everything to him. And if he has questions, he call. If he don't know, understand, he call. If he, if he want to lock rate, he call. So if you pay attention, if you pay attention, you would know my loan process. It's different than everyone else out there. And I call my loan process as do-it-yourself mortgage. Do-it-yourself mortgage. The borrower do everything. They check the rate on my website. They fill out application. They upload documents, right? I told them to monitor the rate. They tell me when to lock the rate. They provide me document. The borrower is in control of the entire process. They know what's going on. They are the one to take action. And because they do everything themselves, if anything go wrong, it's their problem, not mine, not my processor. And therefore they cannot blame me. They cannot give me four star review or less. So you understand the process now, right? Do it yourself market, you do everything. The technology, the software will empower you allow you to, in, to understand the process. So when, when consumer, they understand the process, they are more happy with you. So we make things easier, there's no mistake. 
we don't allow mistake to happen and that's why we have so many happy clients and that's why they keep coming back so i want to take a break here i want to listen to question and i will answer question hi andrew hey how you doing i guess i have a i have a bunch of questions i don't know if we can get to all of them but um i'm doing a lot of heat locks right now is that 100 percent commission minus the the fees uh for qm loans non -QM loans, yes. Yes. So for uh, home equity oh home equity home loans, equity loans. We take even less than that because we know that home equity loan, some lender charge less. I mean, we don't, we cannot make much. So we charge less than uh, conventional loan. Yes. On the first position. Right. But you get 100% of the commission minus the five and the 595? Yeah. Minus even less. We take less than 1095. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, another question is. I do a lot with Rocket normally because they're very easy. Now, since you're correspondent as well, with Rocket, what do you as I disclose my own loans? Is that what you do with Rocket now, or is it different? So we keep everything simple. We don't want to confuse anybody. So then you have a you can submit the submit wholesale. It's your choice. Choice, and it's almost the same. Almost the same. It's the same. The same. All the adjustment. The adjustment. Are the same. Are the same. So the 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 admin fee is eight ninety five instead of five ninety five. They're three hundred dollar extra, and I'm thinking about removing that as well, so that you could send your loan to correspondent channel. Most people love the correspondent channel because first you do not need to disclose the compensation to your clients. Secondly, it gives you the flexibility. You can charge whatever. Unlike borrow pay compensation, borrow pay compensation, you have to disclose that you charge the borrow this much and they don't like it. And we cannot do no closing cost refinance with the borrow pay compensation because the work or borrow pay compensation, right? They need to bring in the money to pay you, your commission. And therefore, we cannot do no, uh, no point, no cost refinance for correspondent loan. Uh, so that's why everyone loves to work with correspondent channel. Yeah. Did I answer all your question, Andrew? You have more questions? No more questions? Um, I that was pretty much it for the hell yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Andrew. Hi, Race. Oh, hi. Can you hear me? Yes. Uh, so I have three questions. The first question is, if we submit the loan, so uh, you will send to Rocket Mortgage. So then we only can see the loan in your website, but not from Rocket Mortgage, right? No, no, no. You can send the loan to any lender you want to. Yeah, but can we see that loan in Rocket Mortgage website? Yes, we create an account for you with Rocket oh, I see. so that you can log into the website and see that. Yeah. The second question, I know the United Wholesale have set with the Rocket Mortgage, so we cannot send two loans to Rocket Mortgage and United Wholesale, right? Correct. At the same time. Correct. Because European is their fault. They are yeah, the I know, I know that. I hate them. Yeah, that's yeah. why. Yeah. So the, the third, yeah, the third question is: Do you have a, uh, you know, the good rate for the jumbo loan? Because I lost uh, many, many jumbo loans. Yeah, with, with that, uh, we don't have a solution. You uh, normally, I work with some bank, some banker. I told them that I would refer them jumbo loan, but they have to refer us back conventional loan because conventional loan, their rate are higher than us. So that's what I do. I, I check hand with them. They have to send us a smaller loan and bigger loan, we send it to them. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Ray. Hey, Tuan, are, 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 you, uh, are you guys done with the presentation and you're just moving to questions now? Yes, I, I would love to end it here. So I missed, I, I missed it all, okay. I just Don't got worry. back to my other I can call. Send you can request us, we can send you the video for you to watch. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, thank you, Daniel. Yeah. Uh, Sujar, Rick, 
Hello, Rick. Good afternoon, Good afternoon Mr. Wynn. Hello, everybody. So a couple of quick questions, sir. So do we have tools to uh, do DSCRs? We do a lot of DSCR, a lot, a lot. One time closes? Yes. We have any type of loans. We do all types. IT, ITINs? Yes, ITIN, no problem. For uh, no Good, good. Uh, in your processing team, do you have bilingual Spanish speakers? Yes, yes. Actually, I am in Colombia right now. We have an operation. <laughs> okay, yeah. cool. I'm sitting, I'm sitting in Medellin right now. Nice, Columbia. nice. Um, where is the processing team? Is that located in Cali? We are everywhere. We are everywhere. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, on a closed loan, when will the funds be dispersed? When do you cut the checks to us? We ACH to you. So, and we try to pay every other day if you are 1099. Oh. When the loan is funded, we receive the check, we mark it, we see that, then you can request commission. You click on the button and you get paid, and we will uh, review, we pay you. Yeah. So typically within 48 hours of a closing, we can expect our funds? I would say a little bit longer than that. Depends on how soon it takes to get the check in from the yeah. escrow. Yeah, sometimes the check, they, they wire it to us, then it's fast. It's really fast, two to three days, you can get it. But if they send us the physical check, then we have to deposit it and take time to clear the bank and all that. So that will take a little longer. Yeah. Um, let's see who else. Uh, Judy. Hi, Judy. Hello, Judy. Hi, I'm here. Um, my question is the one that was earlier. You said you would get back with me. I didn't know if I could ask the question now or if you preferred. Sure, uh, you can now. Any question. You can ask any question now. So, again, my question is, and I heard what you said, keep my own company. I'm a broker in California, uh, building up a team right now. There's a split that I do with uh, other LOs. So how would I do that working with Loan Factory or you don't do yes. a team concept? No, you can bring the whole team over and you can earn a split uh, just like right now. So, like, instead, we, we pay your team member 100%, then you can split, let's say they pay you 10%. So we support the teamwork. You can bring the whole team over if you want to. Okay, so are you saying that if my split is 15% uh, off the top, I get my 15 or the LO has got to pay me my 15? Your LO will pay you 15%. Loan factory, we, we still keep 595. Oh, right. Yeah. I, I understand all of that. I'm talking about after the 595, mm -hmm. after the 500. Um, so like right now, the, the checks come to me. So would, at Loan Factory, the check would come. And so the LO would be responsible for paying. That's what you're saying. Correct. No, no. We, we automate this the whole thing. We automate it. So let's say you bring your team over, you and four team members, a total, five total, right? You bring over to Loan Factory. And when the loan is funded, let's say your team member has a loan that funded, loan factory receive a pay. Your team member requests the commission. It's their loan, right? They request commission. Our system is automated. We know that, oh, we should pay you 15%. So we split, we pay them 85%, we pay you 15%. And the whole thing is automatic. You do not need to do anything. You don't need to touch the check. You don't need to receive the money or pay anyone. You get sit there and receive 15% override. Okay, and what if after a year they say, well, hey, you, I, I'll just go to a loan factory direct. Is there anything to prevent them from doing that for a length of time? How does that work? That's a good only question, thing, Trudy. <laughs> yeah. Because I was only just thinking thing, the same thing. <laughs> yeah. The only thing to prevent them from leaving your team and go straight to loan factory is you at the team mem as the team leader provide a benefit for them in any set in any company the team leader have to do the work you have to buy lead for them or 
provide marketing support. You have to do things that they like you, they, they value you. They, you provide, provide a mentorship. You have to provide something that they see the value. Yeah, the liking alone does not, uh, does not deter them from going, I'm just gonna go to Loan Factory. Yes. But one thing is, Trudy, is I would have them all sign some sort of legal document saying that, you know, they can't they can't do it for two years or whatever. Right. Um, that would that that's the only way that you would. Yes, be that work. <laughs> OK, so, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Trudy. You can but, keep thinking. And if you want to chat more, you can always chat with me more later on. But Thank does uh, but does Trudy get the uh, five thousand dollar referral bonus on each of her uh, LOs? Yes, we we get the referral. Look oh, at that, Trudy. <laughs> five thousand, up to five thousand. Yeah. And what what is when you say up to five thousand? So like I have uh, a team member that is in Texas. So uh, he's thinking about joining. He's not a team member yet. He wants to join. So if I refer him. It's five thousand, or it's like five hundred alone until I reach five thousand. So here, if you look at uh, the schedule here on the screen here, so it based on the their production in the previous twelve months. So yeah. if you if the previous twelve months they close fifty loans, then we will pay you five thousand. So it depends on this schedule. It's on our website under under resources. Yeah. Got it. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, yeah, Soji, go ahead, Soji. Yeah, so I have a couple of questions. Uh, Sometimes I have heard that we don't do Jumbo loans. So is that something that I misunderstood or what do you mean by we don't do Jumbo loans? We do Jumbo loan. It's just that our rates are not good. We cannot compete against the banker. And therefore, it's up to to every one of us, right? For me, I give up. I throw the flag and say I, I'm not gonna do it. I just refer it out. That's my my that's my strategy, so that the other banker they have to refer back their business to me. But it's up to you. A, a lot of loan officer close jumbo loan at loan factory, no problem. Okay. So you mean all of your uh, loans are like below like six fifty or seven hundred that you do in general? Seven fifty six. It's uh, a lower con consider conforming loan, but then high balance loan. We are good with high balance loan as well. At that, a million eighty nine thousand. So yeah. Um, the next person, Stephen. Stephen. Yes, Steve. Hi. How hey, How are you? I'm good. I'm okay. Good. I have a couple of quick questions. So. I'm licensed in California and in New York. I know you guys are not licensed in New York. I get it. Um, I'm thinking about relocating to Florida. My question is, do I need to be sitting in California in order for me until I get licensed in other states to no. do business? No. No? Okay, fine. You can do business anywhere. Okay. And from the time that I get licensed, let's say I get loans in Florida or other states, and I put them in your name, but they close before um, I get licensed or get a comp or no, not? No. no. Okay. But then okay. I, might, I, might, I might consider that you refer me and I might prioritize and send you some of company lead later on. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Good. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. That's why we have to be fast. And our team is really fast in helping you. Yeah. Uh, and, the, and the regulator is also faster. I know okay. they are very fast now. Okay, great. Yeah, great. Thank, you. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, Stephen, hi, Stephen. Who oh, kiss? Hello, how's it going? Good, good. Hi, Stephen. I um, I just want to say hi, one Tristan. of the things hi, that Tristan. you were just talking about here. Um, you, strong support is um, yeah. I I did my very first loan and um, I used underwriting support because it was a self-employed um, S Corp, but it's paid with W-2, um, had the documents. It was submitted to them at 1210. This was last Friday. And at 145, I got it back and I had an LP approved eligible by 155. So um, it does work. I did some homework, of, you know, a few days before just to get the logistics in the system. 
but call and those live people on there that's so valuable and i just wanted to say as a new person i i started using those and they're very very helpful thank you Stephen. thank you so by the way Stephen is already joined on factory and i'm surprised that you show up here and you join you listen to me thank you Stephen, for sharing the thank you with everyone thank you hi rick hello rick si senor so uh one last question for you uh what's the policy uh for rate improvements what kind of fees are there let's say from one day a, a week later there's a sudden drop in the rates so good question what will it cost to relock yeah Thank good you. question depend on the lenders most lenders allow you to relock with a cost of 50 basis point however rocket mortgage doesn't allow to, you to relock um, so as a broker, we are a broker. We have a choice to cancel the loan and submit the loan to a new lender. So normally, uh, if the rate drops significantly and it makes sense, normally for me, if it drops like a quarter, the rate drops by a quarter, then you it's okay for you to submit to a new lender to get better rate. For your clients thank you rick uh, yeah, thanks. yeah thank you hello andy yeah what about um what about pre-approvals like uh what would my pre-approval say on it i'm in i'm in like northeastern us um would it say any california can it say any pennsylvania where i'm at or is it you know do you have you know what i mean does everything say california no, no, no. You, on the pre-approval letter, we'll show you the address of the brand that you associate with. So you can pick, okay. you can pick a branch that can sponsor. That can sponsor. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Andy. Andy Nguyen. Oh, hi. I have a question. Uh, who pay for the shooting point? Uh, so the law factory paid for, or I, I have to pay? You mean the credit report? No, the shooting, shooting point. Oh, you don't have to pay for that. The company should pay for it. Our company should pay for it already. Okay. So, and then commission share uh, with the mentor when I join to the mentorship. Is that the after deduct for the flat fee and processing fee or before? Uh, so I mean, I mean, I mean, when I share after, my commission with the, the mentor, it's after the fee. after the fee. Okay, so uh, three transaction. You don't have to be with them for more than three transaction. Oh, it's only three transaction. Yeah. Yeah. So because you, you're a brand new loan officer, that's why. Okay. So yeah. do we have a physical office? Uh, or everything is just remotely working almost every one of us are remotely working okay uh yeah so i just passed the mol uh exam so now i'm on the way to get the license in california so if i want to join with the brand factory so can i do it the same time or do, or do i have to wait until i get the license official you can do at the same time. We will onboard you, but then you won't do be able to originate. We will be able, you will be able to learn more about what's going on at our company, receive training, but you're not supposed to talk to the client because you don't have a license yet. Yeah, right. So, yeah. And, and, and then about the license in other states. So I, I still confuse that uh, I have the license in California, so so i can help the my client who can who live in the california and and then if i have another client who live in the texas so i want to help them so i have to get a license in texas so is that the page on the 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 location of the client or the property of the the location of the property they it's always this way lo location of the property oh the location of property okay i got it yeah thank yeah. you so much for your information Thank you, Andy. Thank you. Uh, hi, Siri. Siri. Yeah. 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 Good evening, everybody. Yes. Uh, so I, I have this two questions. Is basically how long does it take for a 
licensed California to be part of your loan factory, the process? Do you have the license yet or are you brand new? I, I, I've been a loan officer for three years, so I, I do have a license. Then the, just the matter of switching the license over, and I think it takes should be it should be a week or less, very fast. And uh, second question is basically I'm working with a broker who is also a realtor. So if I want, I mean, I'll try to influence him to be part of a uh, loan factory also because of the technology. So if I definitely want him to be part of this, but is because he's my referring client, any loans which I work with loan factory, will he be compensated as a referral in case he doesn't become part of loan factory? We don't we don't offer referral by close loan anymore. We only uh, give a bonus uh, for referring loan officer. So if he referred you to company to loan factory, he get he get referral fee. But I don't think we can pay him for every loan that you close. Okay. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Sri. Sure. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. But you can work with him and, and loan factory at the same time. You can work with him for any re, uh, real estate transaction. And then you can put your DFPI license under loan factory so that you can do loan. But I was told in California, you cannot have, I mean, I may be wrong, is you need to have a, you need to work as a same loan officer and a realtor with the broker because you cannot have two different and correct me if i'm wrong on that i think you are wrong you can do real estate and loan on the same transaction because, no. because separate people separate companies like being a realtor for a broker and loan with loan factory no that's not correct as long as you have both license you can do it but your broker have to have both license as well in this case your broker have to have real estate and loan license okay he has it so i can i switch over separately that's what is my question yeah it's up to you right you have two license you did you are the one that decide what you want to do with your license you can hang real estate license under him you can hang your loan license under loan factory it's your uh, choice. yeah okay that i was told you cannot do that but thank you for informing me that yeah you should be able to no problem yeah Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Hi, Kemi. Hi, Kemi. Yes. Uh, yes. I just want to be uh, from the question I asked before. I'm a real estate book, uh, booker. Okay. So I also licensing on the loan. Okay. So the current is I have a booker. I send a loan there. So I can also have a uh, loan factory on my MLS, right? So you, let me clarify. You are a broker associate. You don't own the company. I have the uh, for the loan for the loan. Yeah. So you have a transaction. You have a client. You help your client. Mm -hmm. So you have both license, right? You have real yes. estate broker license and you have a loan license. Yes. So you depend on your loan license. Which what you in California, right? I'm in California. And California have two licensing authority. DIE and DFPI. DIE. So, DIE. So if you are DIE, you have two licenses, but under the same licensing authority. So right now, you have to work with that broker for both real estate and mortgage. You cannot no, work with loan factory. I can. But but you can change. You can call NMOS and say you want to change your loan license. You want to move it from DIE to DFPI. Then you have two different license under two different licensing authority. Mm -hmm. Then you can work with any anyone. How do but, I do the DF? What do you say that one? DFPI, but but you don't need to do that uh, also because you are a real estate broker in yes. California, and DIE allow you to work with multiple company at the same time. Mm -hmm. So you don't need to change the the, the loan license type to DFPI. You can we can sponsor you you can work with multiple company at the same okay, time that's good because i did call the mls they say i they can put more than two again two companies yes. on it yes yes because you and are another, another question is about just talk about the heloc how much the transaction fee you charge is a 595 still 
it depends on the lender. Some lender, they, they process for you, and we charge you only $100 processing fee. So we charge less and depend on the lender too. But okay. we, know, we know that uh, you don't make much. Yeah. Uh, we want to help you so that we charge a lot less now. Okay, so uh, but the process processing fee is uh, still five hundred. No, right? we we might we might remove, we might charge only a hundred. Check with uh, check with our onboarding team. Check okay. with the staff. My staff they will explain it to you. How do I join your team? What do you have to do? Yeah, someone will reach out to you after. The someone will reach out to me. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Kimmy. Thank you. Hi, Dan Harris. Yes, I just wanted to be sure that I mean I have both licenses, the DRE and DFPI. But can I be 1099 with my DFPI with Loan Factory? Yes, you can. Okay, Both so I don't, have to, I don't have to put it under my LLC or anything like that. You don't have to. We pay you directly, and it can be 1099, no problem. Okay, great. That's that's all I needed. And oh, uh, and on the uh, compensation. So if it's lender paid, we can go in and set that at like say 200 bips and then if the rate would adjust based on on the compensation uh i want to correct you a little bit okay borrow pay then you can adjust that you can put any you can right you can yeah add. i know i'm borrow pay but i was wondering on the lender pay side. pay you cannot do anything it's fixed at one percent california 200 bip, 200 bips okay you cannot right. change it yeah thank yeah, you that Dan. was that was the question the 200 yeah, bips. yeah right. thank you Thanks. Hi, Catherine. Hi, Catherine. Oh, hi. I have two questions. First one is I am a realtor. I got a um, DRE license, but your company said I had to get DFPI. It's taking long, uh, longer than I expected. It's more than three weeks. I'm just wondering, can I practice with the DRE license? Depend. I uh, you you are you practice in both real estate and mortgage right now, right? No, I'm with us. Uh, Colwell Banker. Uh, my real estate exactly but, so yeah. you, if you want to continue to practice real estate with Cowell banker then you have no choice you have to switch your loan license to dfbi if you want to work loan factory because yeah go ahead how long is going to take to the i would say it one to two weeks get the Oh, oh, because they have to approve your license again. I'm sorry, but you don't have you don't have license with the API. So the API will have to repeat. Right, it could take up to sixty days if it's a new license in California. Yeah, new license take time, but if it, you already have the license, everything fast. Yeah. So I, I'm waiting for that. Can I take a other state license when I'm waiting for the API? What license you want to take? I'm sorry. So I wanted to apply for uh, uh, Texas and Florida. Yeah. yeah, you don't have to wait. You can apply uh -huh. with with Texas and Florida and other state. You don't have to wait. Do not wait. So it will not uh, delay my license. It won't affect anything. Yeah, oh. everything. Every state is different. Okay, thank you. Yeah, can, thank you, uh, Catherine. Hey, uh, CR, you've been waiting for a long time. CR. Surya, you mean Surya? yeah you it's you okay yeah. okay good evening everybody okay i have two questions very quick questions okay uh, i have um, issued pre-approval for construction loan they will close in march somewhere in 25 so that one has to be brought here because i'm a new entrance here one question so that would be closed only when the house gets ready right yes uh, we right. cannot close any transaction okay. um, until the law, the house is finished, right? It's been built right now. So okay. what you what what we normally do, we support to the lender, have them approve the loan, everything ready to go. Yeah. And then about a month before closing, we submit updated documents, like up the updated pay stuff and bank statement, and yeah. then we can close quickly. Yeah. Right. Because I have issued the pre-approval from different companies. So that has to be informed right now. So I will do that. Yeah, and, uh, if you have no pre approval from our um, loan factory, the other question is that um, okay, for submitting, submitting our uh, compensation, we have some instruments to make ourselves that uh, this is the BPS, this is the uh, invoice for the uh, appraisal, and this is the credit invoice. Yes. 
So yeah. that form is uh, uploaded automatically, and we have to make it like we had we had to do it before in our company. We had to make manually. Normally, if you let our process processor do it, they have okay. everything. They take care of everything for you. But All if right. you do it, you have to submit the invoice to get it reimbursed. Yeah. All right. So I have a, I'm a new entrant in Loan Factory. So I have been working in uh, other software like the Barrett uh, Financial Mortgage and other, you know, so they had different. So maybe I get some trainings in this uh, so that uh, it won't be any obstacles for me. Yeah, it's super easy. We have training. Yeah. We have support team to guide you every step of the way. A any question, there's someone who will stand by and help you. Right. Yeah. right. Okay. Thank you so much. That's all for me. Thank you. So yeah. thank you, everyone. I love it because there's so many of you here and you ask a lot of good questions. Uh, and I know that, you know, markets is way too complicated, as you can see. Even though I'm Russian, I didn't. I didn't show you a lot about our website, our technology yet, but I hope that you you see the difference. You can compare what we what we have to offer you versus other places, right? We make everything so easy for you and your client. We make sure you can compete. We make sure that your client is happy and they will come back and they will refer more clients to you. So we make sure you do the right thing so that you can grow your business. And because so many people out there are not doing the right thing. They struggle, they struggle. So um, I hope you like it. And feel free to reach out to us anytime. Uh, we have a team to help me so they can answer your question. And if you, if they cannot answer your question or if something, something more complicated, you can always uh, request to have a meeting with me. I would love to meet you, talk to you, chat to you. So don't be hesitate. And we, when you join Loan Factory, you can see resources that we have to support you. Hi, Sura, Tuya. Yeah, one more question, please. Uh, since I'm in the ET time, can I get the processor from ET so that we can start early eight o'clock? Yes, yes, no problem. All right, okay. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you. Just request, just request, and we will handle it. Yeah. Right. Thank yeah. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for, for spending time with me. Thank you. Yeah. Um, yeah. Can we get the yeah. recording for this? Yeah, we just request it from my staff and they will send it to you. Yeah, I missed the mm -hmm. last 10 minutes. Yeah. Get request from my staff when they will reach they will reach out to you and, and they will send you the link. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry, what time did the <laughs> webinar start? Uh, because my understanding was it's starting at three o'clock uh, Pacific and it's three three or three now. No, at 2 p.m. 3 p.m. Central Time. So at 1 p.m. Oh so it was 1 p.m. Yeah, okay. I'm sorry. My fault. My fault too. Sometimes I use Pacific times. Sometimes I use Central Time, and it miss up. Mix up. That's cause of people to mix yeah, up. Yeah, I missed the time too. Yeah, I thought. Yeah, I miss Central. But uh, so, how can we request the? Uh, how can we request the recording? Yeah, yeah, the staff will reach out to you. My staff will reach out to all of you. To are they call me or are they email to me? Because they will, email, they will email for sure. Okay. Maybe call it. Okay. okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the day. We appreciate it. Thank you. 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 Thank you.